to me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that I shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. I'd like to continue with our series on Shine Your Talk. Hello, I'm Elaine Kung. Blessings from San Diego, California. How do we shine through our smart communication? So we are looking at now the third sticky situation at work. How do we communicate and be assertive? My work is not recognized. Others take my credit. I'm sure you have experienced that. I do too. That people tend to get my idea and kind of steal my idea and then claim the credit is their idea. So when we are in this sticky situation, what do we do? Remember, we're going to ask the six reason questions to ask ourselves. Why would they do that? I'm thinking perhaps they want to be recognized. And yet, it's for work that they didn't do. So they'd be a little bit greedy and selfish. So they need some affirmation. They need encouragement. So how can I express empathy? And what is their need? They need recognition. So how can I address their need? How can I help them to see that, huh, yeah, with some ideas, we can partner together and they can add value and make contribution. And be very calm to say, I noticed that you were talking to my boss about the idea that I share with you. I think it's good for us to discuss as a team. And that's important to give credit where credit is due. If you're interested in this idea, let's work on it together. And you have your value add and contribution and you'll get the recognition. So you want to kind of think through their need of recognition and explain how they can be part of it and be calm about it. And even when you talk through this, uh, if necessary, uh, discuss with the boss and the coworker together or privately, depending on the situation, and you want to pray through this and God will show you how to best address the sticky situation and then set the boundary, right? So like I just explained that you don't just avoid a conflict you just avoid the situation and not talk about it, right? So we be clear. It's your idea. You share with them. And they are, quote, stealing your idea. And you offer the solution that they can be part of it. And notice what their strength is and how they can contribute to this idea and make this idea a success as a team. And that way, you would nurture trust. That way, you convey a personal brand of reaching out, building teamwork while setting a boundary, speaking in a calm way, and notice their need, and then how we can build a trusted relationship. So that is an example of how we can address that conflict. While we face conflict, as an example that I just gave, when they want to steal your idea, or perhaps when you have a different way of doing uh, a project, I suggest that conflicts are not always bad. In fact, many times, the conflict could be a healthy conflict, and it could be positive and could be healthy and give us these three our blessings. Conflict help us to really test our real Christian faith and put into action. If everything is humdi-dory, everything is smooth, everything is so easy that your faith isn't really tested. So it's through conflict that we can even pray harder and see how God can give us the wisdom to address this conflict in a positive and healthy way. And R is second R is relationship. It's through this conflict that we have a conversation, like I just did with the coworker who steal my idea. How I can build relationship and have a positive influence and build teamwork and show how I am assertive. So all that is opportunity to exercise your Christian faith and to build positive relationships instead of 
because of the conflict, you avoid it and nothing happened, right? And then you get frustrated or getting upset and have low EQ and complain. That's bad conflict resolution idea, right? So you want to be positive. And then the third R is the result. When you are able to listen to each other's perspective, at the end, it may not be my way or their way. It's actually our way. Together, it's not just for my best. It's not only just for their best. It's our shared vision for our collective best that we have results that's one plus one greater than three. How about that? So when we have conflict, we can listen to each other's perspective, think from their point of view, why they think this way, and similar, ask those R-E-A-S-O-N, six reason questions, and then enjoy these three out blessings. So when we have conflict, we think about both your own need, have the self-confidence, your own need, but if you're only thinking of your own need, very selfish and self-centered self-confidence, then you're aggressive, not good. And if you're only thinking about other people's need, you're being too passive. So we want to be assertive. We want to care on both sides of the need. And we're going to learn more in detail about assertive in the future. So when I think about that conflict, think about both needs. Let me introduce you a tool very well known and well adopted in the industry, developed by Thomas Kilman, and it's called a TKI instrument, five conflict resolution strategy. So you have the bottom X axis. On the left is when you're not cooperative. On the right, you're more cooperative, that you're willing to satisfy other people's needs and concerns. And then on the Y axis, vertical, the bottom is less assertive and the top is more assertive, that you're more now satisfying your own needs and your own concern. So if you look at this matrix, start with the lower left, that you are not cooperative and you're not assertive. So you ended up avoiding. So take this orange as an example. There's an orange that you and I both want. And we both want to avoid this conflict. At the end, we just part ways and not talking about it. We avoid it. And then no one gets anything because we avoided it. And then on the other hand, if I'm cooperative and not assertive, I'm just go with your flow, whatever you say. So then you end up winning and getting the orange. And I ended up just accommodating and losing. So it's a win-lose not necessarily the best. And it depending on the situation, in this case, we now take over the orange and I have nothing. So let's go higher up. Let's be a little bit more assertive. In the middle, also medium cooperative. So we may end up compromising. Okay, we'll just take half and half. Cut the orange into half. So that may be a compromise. So maybe partial win and partial lose. And depending on the situation, then, on the upper left, it's competing when you are very hard-headed, not cooperative, and you're just very assertive. You care about your own need only. And then you take over the orange, and you win, and they lose. They may not like this. And you may feel happy you got the orange, but it may not be good. And finally, and the best solution is when we're both cooperative and assertive. The upper left is when we collaborate. Collaboration means that I ask your need. What is it that you need for the orange? Oh, you need the skin for baking a cake. Got it. Well, I need the orange juice. So that way, you can have the whole orange skin and I have the whole orange juice. That's win, win, and it's collaboration. And that takes asking questions, understanding each other's needs. So let's look into more detail for each one of these. Avoiding low cooperative, low assertive. The action is to hide and hope it goes away. So it's avoiding. So just don't deal with it. Sidestepping, postponing, withdrawing. You're passive. 
not helping them reach their goals, and you are not assertive in pursuing your own needs. So everyone lose, this lose, lose. And it may be suitable when the issue is trivial. It's not that important, right? It's okay, let's just avoid it. And it may be, it's uh, very costly. The result of negotiating may cost too much, or it's not my responsibility, or I have no chance of winning. I just avoid it. So that may be okay to avoid. And if the atmosphere is emotionally charged, everyone is getting very upset, very tense, and you may want to create some space. So we may want to avoid for a definite period of time, and you can come back to it later. So that may be okay for some point of time. So the caution here is sometimes the issues will resolve themselves, so they may be okay. But hope is not a strategy. So you still have to think through what is the right way. And in general, avoiding is not a good long-term strategy. It could be okay for short term. Then accommodating. You're now more cooperative on the right and still low assertive, right? So you're accommodating. Let them take have their way. So then you may end up just surrender the needs to please others. So this is a selfless generosity. You're giving in and yielding your own point of view. You neglect your own concern and only satisfy others' needs and others' concern. So the result is you lose, they win. There's sometimes suitable approach when the other party is the expert or is their boss and they have a better solution, then it's okay to accommodate. And that you want to preserve future relationship with each other. And the question is, if you cooperate to a high degree, and then you may be now running at your own expense and work against your own goals and your needs. So these are the questions. And then the third case, when you go in the middle, cooperative and middle assertive. So this is about finding the middle ground. Then both get something, but not everything. So neither party gets everything that they needed. So this could be a quick, expedient, mutually acceptable, and split the difference type of a solution. So the result is partial, a mix of win-lose. So not getting everything, right? So it could be suitable when we need a temporary and a quick solution in a limited time because you're very tight on time. And both sides have equally important goals and needs to meet. So that's okay to use that approach. And the caution is, the trap is to fall into compromising as an easy way out when collaborating can produce a better win-win result. So that is the collaboration we'll discuss later on. So we hope to always think about win-win collaboration and that takes more time and it's worth to spend the time to do that. And then the fourth case is upper left, low cooperative and high assertive. You think about me, myself and I. So your goal is to aim to win and stand up for what's right. And you have a defend your position. And then you ended up trying to keep on the other side. So you care a lot about your own concern, your own needs at other people's expense. So that's your win and then they lose. So it may be good for you. When would you use this situation, uh, this approach? It's when it's emergency and time is short and you think that you're right and you need a quick and decisive action and it may be unpleasant decision and maybe you are the one in authority and that people are aware of and still support your approach. So that may be okay to go ahead and do, especially if you're the boss or you're the expert. Some caution. You act in a very assertive way to achieve your goal and your needs and you didn't seek to cooperate with the other party. This may hurt the relationship in the long run. Finally, the best case is collaborating. High cooperation, high assertiveness. That you care about their needs and you care about your own needs. That's the definition of assertiveness. So you want to find mutual benefit. So it's win-win as much as possible mutual respect and willing to listen to each other. And when you have disagreement, you want to explore 
to understand why they're thinking this way and go through the sixth reason question we talked about before and then come up with some creative solution that could be one plus one greater than three and then partner and pair up with the other party to achieve both of your goals like that orange to understand oh they wanted skin you want the juice so that will be win-win and then break free from the win-lose paradigm so it's not always just win-lose or lose-win in fact we could Go for win win, one plus one greater than three. So, this is suitable and actually very desirable in most cases if you can achieve that, especially for very complex scenarios that you need to find a novel solution. And sometimes, when you need to reframe a challenge and create a bigger space and more room for everyone's idea, and this would take more time, but it would be worth it. So, the caution is this requires a high degree of trust to listen to each other and takes time to build consensus and takes effort and open-minded to listen to each other to get on board so that we can synthesize all the ideas. See you next time. The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live enriching webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.